Can you hear me? It's two o'clock. I'm from uh, I'm from the Netherlands, so we start on time. <laughs> uh, I will talk uh, this afternoon about uh, uh, Cloudant. Uh, many have heard maybe about Cloudant. Um, it's from IBM. Um, it's in the cloud, as Cloudant stated. Um, and we use it in an uh, application we built. Something about me, uh, I'm a freelance, full stack uh, Java developer. Um, I'm very curious of new technology like Angular and all the other new kids on the block. Um, I'm the owner of, an, uh, of my own company as a freelancer. I did some work for uh, Bellsoft here in the front uh, last year and I was a champion. Oh, a roadmap. Why Cloudant? No, you can see some introductions how to get inside, how to con connect to Cloudant, and some examples. There are no real demo, maybe at the end, is there, when there's time, but I did not plan. I knew, I knew before the, the Wi-Fi here, so I thought, don't challenge. Why Cloudant? As I stated, we, we participate in the uh, um, IBM uh, ICS uh, development competition with um, the people of uh, uh, Bellsoft, and we built an HR assistant as entry. And it used Cloudant as data store. No NSF, because it should be run, running on Bluemix, and I'm, I'm scared about the NSF on Bluemix. The, the XSP runtime on Bluemix, I'm happy. I can control, but I don't know what's going on with the NSF um, on Bluemix. So we decided let's try let's let's try Cloudant. I have heard lots of good stories about Cloudant, so it was a good opportunity to to learn a lot about Cloudant. Small introduction. It's a cloud version of cl um, uh, CouchDB. CouchDB is uh, created by Damien Katz. When you're uh, around um, a while, then you know Damien Katz. He also created, I think, Notes or the NSF. He was involved. He created CouchDB. It's an open source. It's almost open source NSF. On top of CouchDB, there's uh, Cloudant. Uh, IBM has, has bought. Uh, Cloudant and uh, added some um, uh, features um, on top and contributed also back to Couch CouchDB. When you're, you're, you download CouchDB or Cloudant, you see Cloudant, they're almost the same features in both versions. It's, in, uh, Mongo, it's, uh, it's like Mongo or the NSF, it's uh, no SQL. So no data sh uh, schemas, one big uh, bunch of uh, documents. Data is stored as JSON. JSON is everywhere. And I'm happy because I'm not a fan of, X uh, of XML. XML is scary to me. JSON is more, is a modern way of uh, getting data. You also have uh, a few search uh, formula with JavaScript, not with uh, add formulas. But uh, you have JavaScript, and you can uh, make uh, views and search formulas to structure a bit your data. You have replication. That part was uh, added by uh, IBM, you know, from Domino. Uh, there are tasks. One of the tasks is uh, the FTA search indexing. And they're built in APIs very fancy, and they're very good documented. And the most thing I liked about Cloudant, no limitations, no 32K limitations or whatever, strange limitations. And you can store, with JSON you can store everything. We stored, um, uh, uh, we stored uh, attachments, 
bridge text, whatever, everything. Um, there are two favors, uh, flavors of uh, uh, Cloudant. You can go to Bluemix, start a project, and um, add a service in Bluemix. You can take it, add it to your project, and you get some credentials, and you're up and running. Actually, what it's doing, you get, your, uh, you get an instance on cloudant.com with, with some credentials from Bluemix. You see also in the, the username and password, there are Bluemix inside. You can also go the direct way, go cloudant.com, sign up, and you're almost the same. Uh, um, you're using the same um, uh, database or uh, domain. Uh, on there are free tires on this uh, on Cloudant. The same applies for Bluemix. When you have large um, uh, Cloudant databases, you have to pay. But they're fairly uh, large before you start to pay. A small peek inside Cloudant. When you log in with your credentials or go from Bluemix, launch Cloudant, then you go to Cloudant, you get uh, logged in, you are entering uh, this page. You see your databases. And uh, you can you can create, delete, replicate, whatever. Uh, create uh, goes with uh, create database. That's it. You see, you have also uh, replication, integration, active tasks. Active in active tasks, you can see what the, how the um, the, the uh, indexing uh, performs. So it's not rocket science. When you go inside the database, like for example, the HR assistant, and you have few mappings. You can create a few out of, the, uh, uh, out of your unstructured data by a map function. Function doc. In our example, doc.data type, that's a field of our doc, our doc company, and then give me the ID of the, of the document. The same applies for search. You can also create your own full text search, whatever you want. It's fully flexible. I heard some complaints is JavaScript, but I'm very pleased with JavaScript because I'm not so big fan of LotusScript. Uh, so you're very flexible with what do uh, what you do, do you get in your search index. In the meantime, when there are questions, please ask. Don't hesitate. Otherwise, I go on. There, um, in my opinion, there are two, uh, two um, uh, uh, ways to connect to Cloudant with the direct. Uh, REST uh, API, as you can see here on the top, there's an API there when you're on Cloudant. The API um, uh, menu item is always there. When you click, you get a URL from the current page you're on. So when you want all the databases, when you click on API, then you get an, um, uh, a REST URL to get all your data in JSON format, or, or your, all your databases. And that applies for views, uh, search, uh, whatever. So the API is everywhere. You can use it by some username, secret, account, cloudant.com, and then whatever you want to access, your search, your, uh, your view, your replication, uh, 
you can also uh, proper methods uh, trigger your um, uh, replication. Everything in Cloudant, no, almost everything in Cloudant can be um, triggered through the um, REST API. <coughs> For our project, um, as we're using X pages and lots of Java, um, I created an OCI plugin, which is uh, free. You can download and you can reuse it. Um, you can um, install it on the server, on your dominant designer, and you can um, directly from inside your code without setting up an HTTP connection or a REST API, a REST, REST API call, immediately connect with um, Cloudant by applying uh, a, um, a username, a password, and a database. And what do you want to access? When you connect to Cloudant, when you're on Bluemix, you get the service credentials. And it's through whole Bluemix. When you're um, everywhere, it's serve credentials. When you connect to Watson or connect to other services on uh, um, Bluemix, they're all service credentials. And they, you can reuse, you have to use them. Uh, you have a username, password, and a hostname. And you see the hostname is cloud.com with the Bluemix in the uh, subdomain. That's the only part. When you're using my OCI plugin, there's a need of an account. And an account is uh, built up by a username, password, with some with an uh, ad formal uh, ad uh, sign, and then and then get username. When you um, use this, uh, then you have your account, and you can access uh, Cloudant from inside your expected um, um, application. As I stated before. It's JSON everywhere. It's an example of our configuration, uh, one of the configuration items. When you when you create a document, um, underscore ID and underscore ref, they're private. They're reserved pa parameters. Um, you're not able to um, change these. Uh, when you try to do that, you get an error. It's, it's forbidden. When you create, you, you create uh, it's, its unique ID, the ID. And the um, underscore ref is the revision with, with version. And so you can also go back in the revision, uh, revisions. And as you see, we have a doc. And inside the doc, there are fields from our application. It could be notes items. Because I did also an, a small test with my plugin to, to export notes data, 10,000 documents, I think, directly to Cloudant and see how it's performed. And then you can see it's a document with uh, a field and a value. You can store also multi, uh, multiple values. <coughs> Whatever you, whatever you want. A bit uh, promotion of my connector. Um, it's a storing and retrieving from Cloudant. Can be accessed directly from your Java uh, backend. Uh, we'll take out the security issues and do the heavy lifting. You don't. You, you have to only add one line of code to store uh, data inside of a uh, 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 cloud. So don't re-event re the wheel and uh, feel free to use it, to reuse it. And if there are, if there are all, uh, it's, it's, it's in Bitbucket, so it's, uh, uh, it's, it's in the repository. If there are issues, if there are feature requests, let me know. Um, we enhanced this plugin heavily 
during our um, uh, project uh, because of needs like the search, like the query. Uh, but um, yeah, maybe there are more uh, needs. Um, let me know. Also, afterwards the session maybe, I don't know. But um, put it on Bitbucket in the repository and uh, I will see if I uh, find time to fix it. Okay, development, X pages. I started uh, early with X pages. I'm an early adapter. <laughs> Not an inventor, I'm an early adapter. Um, how we use Cloudant in our application. Cloudant is in the cloud. We have our connector, OCI. And then inside is the NSF. We have a Cloudant service, a uh, domino access layer, and uh, controllers. And here is the, uh, is the X page, the actual X page to, the, to view the data. For example, there's a list of jobs in our application. Because we're an HR assistant application, it's HR, it's about jobs and job applications. It's a list of uh, jobs in our application. When you go inside, when you see in the designer, then you see it's a repeat. We don't use uh, views, repeat. And um, wait. The job controller connects to the jobs. And inside um, our um, the columns, is entry, entry, company, dot name. No social JavaScript, as, as less as possible. We try to use uh, uh, expression language almost everywhere. Because social JavaScript, it was nice that it was uh, invented. On the other hand, it gives lots of confusion. But it, in my opinion, it's not JavaScript, it's not <coughs> Java, it's in between. When you go to the job controller, we have here a method, get jobs. And it returns a list of jobs for my repeat control. And as, as I did not search, he will ask job dot red read my jobs, get, my, get me my jobs to the uh, domino, uh, uh, to the job uh, um, access, la access layer. When you step in between, the job class has all these properties. Like a name, company, and that's also an object, a company is an object, and the company has the obvious uh, street, uh, city, land, uh, country, and a person is an, an object, and the rest are strings. When you go to the cloud, to the DAO, I was asking, I was calling the red uh, 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 method, give me a list. I connect to the service, he will check if there's a connection with Cloudant. Is there not, is there no connections, connection? He will connect. Because um, in our, in our uh, faces, dot, uh, faces config, we applied some, uh, the, the username, the password, account, and the database name. And there are some nifty, some nifty uh, um, method, um, behind the connect uh, to service. Because when you're on cloud, no, when you're on Bluemix, you can uh, um, call your, uh, not your faces config, you can call your uh, your services. VCA, VCAD services, that's, an, that's a file. You can ask, give me, my, give me from, from the service, give me my credentials. IBM has provided a nice, some nice methods to get 
all this data. Okay, he will try to connect to the service. He will connect. And then to the service, find all documents from view. And get me everything in, as a job class. Design document, view name, give me everything as a string, and a view limit, 1,000 documents or 100 or whatever. And a design document is a view. It's, 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 it's not, design document is, an, is an a rep representation on, on Cloudant um, where the view is inside the view specifications. It's a collection uh, where you have to, um, yeah, where the view name and the search index who are together is in a design document. Cloud and service will ask, give, give me your credentials. And you will init my connector, my OCI plugin, which is on my uh, tooling. And here at Cloud and DB, he will not create, it's false, so he will not be created. And some uh, timeouts. And the time unit is in, uh, is, uh, that's the unit of um, what the timeout in seconds or minutes or hours or whatever. And here is a find the document for my view. The actually call you want. You want to go to the connector, get a uh, connector, the same name. Make it easy with your class, and you will return. It's not specified because you, you, you gave it directly. Uh, you specified by yourself. You can list question mark, and later on you can specify by yourself that object. What should it be? In our case, it should be a do, uh, job class. And what my, um, my connector will do, he will get the data, the JSON, he will um, convert it directly in a job class. No manual JSON manipulation or whatever. It's, uh, I think it's easy. Um, a, a nice way to, to get your data out. Listen, Jason, uh, from a job, not so nice uh, picture, but inside your ID, and the, there's also a doc inside when I, yeah. here start a doc, and then the ID, a data type, and a name, and a company, and the company is also here, uh, also another object, a data type, the company, it's the same company object and then repressed uh, uh, person, salesperson, it's also an object. And here is the rich text. That's the description. So we build it in layers uh, because uh, there are more, um, uh, we found it easy. And you get easy access to Cloudant, in my opinion, or in our opinion. Another topic always, developers always um, uh, asking or um, questioning about when you use a new system. It's most about attachments, how we use attachments, and how we do uh, use rich text, because rich text is notes. It's, it's a real, it's a real uh, invention by notes. Because of the no, on the web is no rich text, it's it's HTML. So attachments. Those are pretty hard um, exercise <laughs> to get around, but you have to go back to the base 64 encoding. And um, 
it can be standalone. And we decided to, um, to create a document out of it. You get a document ID, a bit like the, um, the notes way. And we stored the attachment ID in the object who is using the attachment. So there, there could be better, uh, easier ways or whatever, but we thought in the end it was working and the deadline was approaching of the uh, competition. We left it, uh, we left it that way. Um, we also have an attachment doc, uh, document access layer with a create, a delete, and a read uh, method. You can store more attachments in one document, like a uh, resume or a logo or whatever. As you see, when we connect to, when we inter interact with, con um, with Cloudant, we always call, call the connect service just to be sure the connection is there. And it's like a black box, give me the connection. Connect to service, whatever, whatever you do under, under, under the hood, give me a connection. We have an attachment controller, of course, controller. First thing was, we have, you have an upload. When you have an upload, you upload a file. It's not an att attachment. It's an upload, ip, upload file. So we have to convert it to an attachment, store it in, um, in, in Cloudant, and store it in our memory to display in our application. So there is a method. It's called create attachment from upload. You create an attachment. Do some nifty stuff. Content type will be set, the name will be set, and the data we will convert file to bytes and file bytes. Yes, he will, he will get bytes back and encode it to base 64. And there, um, during the process, I were aware of uh, there are lots of base 64 encoders and decoders. You have to use uh, the same, otherwise you get uh, some corrupted uh, attachments. All the other controllers um, can use the attachment uh, controller. And all the, all the controllers has also implementing the uh, controller base. And in the controller base, you have some methods like uh, load attachment, remove attachment, create attachment, update attachment, and also has attachments. All the, all the controllers can use these methods. So when there's a company or a job or a job application or whatever document, we all, we also always can call uh, on the X page, has attachments or whatever. Or you can call load attachments, give me my attachments for this document. Where there are none, there are none. When there are attachments, he will give a list because there um, they get in an uh, um, attachment holder and there's a list of, uh, of attachments. So you can more get more attachments in one document. Um, I also created a, um, a servlet inside the application to call um, the, um, the document. Or no, the attachment, because when you have an, uh, a Word document or an, a PDF, when you want to download it, you have a stream, because it's base, base 64, stream is it. 
and how to download something. Okay, I thought make a servlet and call the um, um, call the URL XSP, XSP, etc. You have your ID of your document and the attachment name. And the servlet will get from Cloudant the uh, the base, the, uh, the the byte stream converted, and uh, he knows already which document type it is because we stored it that way, and he will be uh, downloaded immediately. Nifty way. I used uh, this way uh, the the servlet uh, way. Uh, like uh, Eric McCorf McCorfnick has uh, wrote an, uh, um, a block, a block theory about uh, attach, uh, servlets in the NSF, the servlet way, but not with an X agent or whatever. In for images, there is nice specification in the modern uh, browsers. You can use uh, data content type. Uh, base 64 and your data without conversion. It's your base 40, uh, 64 uh, uh, byte stream and you call it your source directly without an H, uh, with, without a URL to your attachment. Internet Explorer below 11, I think, will not work, but I only work with modern browsers. Okay, another invention by, no, by Domino and uh, IBM, I think, rich text. Um, we store it in the job class as a multi mime part. As you can see, job description, we get the data. And it's an input rich, rich text field. So you can, you can, Great bullet points, uh, bold, uh, ita italic, uh, whatever, and it will be stored in it, it's, um, as, um, as multi mime part, mime multi part, which is nicely converted to JSON, to HTML in JSON, without much. And all the way around when you load the document. To edit, you, you want to edit. It will be loaded in, inside the rich text field, uh, uh, input rich text uh, item. It's converted directly back without anything. So, rich text was pretty easy for us. To um, attachments part was challenging, but another nice thing is search. We have decided to search directly on Cloudant. Maybe not because it's the most convenient way, but we have practice. Is it, um, how fast is it when you type something in and it will be directly um, um, searched? How fast is Cloudant? Because I have heard some um, yeah, some good news about Cloudant, it's, it's so fast with searching, with, 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 with data. So we thought we, we do it the hard way. You have your design document, and here's your search index. Now, pretty easy. You can specify which fields you want to be uh, indexed. And in our controller, we use these fields again. On our page, the job page, we have a search field at the top. And it's bound to the controller, the actual controller of this page, to a field, search query. Straightforward. And 
on keep press e is to submit. Now key press the search. Here again, my jobs for my list. Jobs. This time we search equals is not is not empty anymore. So we go to the else and we go to jump down and we do the search with this field, search query. When you go do your search, you get your, I all also want to return a list of jobs. Do a search. Here's your search pattern we've specified on top of the page of the controller with some uh, fields, with or. And we replace uh, the search query with our query and do a search and replace of, uh, of the query fields by the actual query and call our service. And do, do, uh, we'll do a search, search index. I, will I want to return job class. I want, uh, you can specify the count. <coughs> and here's the query. We add, and we get a list of jobs. And here's the actually service. It's calling my connector, my query connector. With the search index ID, with the class, the limit, and the actual query. And it will return a list. As you can see, in the cloud and service, all my, my methods are returning the list with a uh, question mark. No specification which we want an object, not which object. Because our, clou uh, our cloud and service is an abstract layer. We should be service, uh, 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 service every object in our application. A job application, a job, or a company, or a config. Our configuration is also in cloud. Actually, in our NSF, there's no data at all. All the data is somewhere in the cloud. Nice on time, I must say. Here are some resources. Again, where my cloud connector is. Uh, Docs.cloud.com, lots of uh, documentation. I think IBM has done a great job in this part. Um, so examples how to get data, what, do you, uh, wh what, you, what you get in return when you're using the REST service. Lots of explanation about query, about uh, uh, searching, uh, <coughs> how to set up uh, your cloud and database, replication, uh, 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 and so on. It, it's pretty extended, I think. And when you want to have a look, our, uh, HR assistant, it's on Bluemix. It's running there pretty smoothly without uh, restarting, without uh, 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 memory issues. Um, and you want to have a look inside uh, under the hood in the code. It's on my GitHub, it's open source, it's, uh, it's in a repository. And uh, you can uh, dive into the code can re reuse it, whatever you want. There are lots of more goodies inside, I can say. Questions? No. Small demo. So our HR assistant, we created our, created our own um, 
sort of uh, speed bump, uh, a sort of authentication layer, because um, uh, IBM was telling us uh, for this competition there is an uh, open, uh, there is a single sign-on service on, on uh, Bluemix. Nice. We're on the UK uh, data center, the UK data, data center, or Sydney, or whatever. No, single sign-on. No, that's on the, that's on the North American data center only. So we thought, okay, what should we do? We created a, like a, a sort of speed bump, but we don't have get m lots of spam inside. So you have to sort of authenticate. You can specify the role. This is our application. Every data you see popping up is coming from Cloudant. <coughs> we also use uh, in the background Watson to analyze the data and charts to display the data. When we go to jobs, you see jobs? Pretty easy uh, when you search. Uh, Okay. Good search, and you get your data back. Let me go also inside the job. Let's go inside a, a real job. show more you can edit and here are your here's your risk text with formatting uh, what is nice company I go to companies companies has has an attachment a logo can download the logo if you want. Uh, it's a generic compo component which we use for every uh, attachment. So when you have a Word document of a PDF, you can download. You can remove it. Uh, what have we nice goodies? In the job application, we also have Where are your attachments? No attachments. Config, list, everything is configurable. Also the, the list, the, the list here is, can, you can configure. Uh, see gender, career level, countries, menu, menu item, you can specify. So everything is almost configurable. And everything is stored in Cloudant without, um, without any worry. You see, it's pretty fast on this Wi-Fi. So that's my demo, small demo. No questions? Then I'm done. the same uh, uh, data, um, database, uh, database uh, or the same uh, architecture as you use uh, in this project? Uh? When you use without Cloudant? Without Cloudant. Uh, you can use Mongo? Uh, yeah, it's also possible. Yeah, you can store it in, in NSF. But in that this 
for players to uh, try changes and uh, try them. Uh, yeah, you have written a, a lot of code to, yeah. to try and to change the mm -hmm. changes, the layers to try them. Uh, yeah. uh, if uh, a customer without this kind of mm -hmm. situation ask you uh, a similar thing, mm -hmm. probably you choose another kind of uh, of a technology for storing mm -hmm. data mm -hmm. and another kind of, of technology for representing the, the application too for the user interface too mm -hmm. or you confirm that uh, you, uh, you, you you know the better way to apply this kind of application it's not the better way uh, there's m lots of ways but um, we have met, made a cloud and service very abstract in the it could be possible to make another service for uh, the NSF make the same methods and do other things inside because it should be stored in the NSF or whatever NSF uh, with Mongo or whatever. So you can tr uh, you can uh, remove the cloud and service, um, create your own service for your database, the backend system, and you're done. The rest of the uh, application can be uh, without without uh, uh, changing code. So that's, that's the way we, we make it in layers. That's also, uh, that's also um, one of the things I, I'm thinking about um, to, to make another service for, 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 for Mongo. So a customer can, can choose which backend system we, do we want to use. Do we want the data store in, uh, want to store the data in Clouded or in Mongo or uh, Cassandra or the NSF or yeah, the customer. We don't have only have to write one class and then it's stored. So we were pretty <laughs> happy with our, our architecture. And yeah, Watson is running in the cloud. Cloudant, by the way, Cloudant can be, it's, it's in the cloud, but cloud can be run on premise. It's the same, uh, uh, there are almost no limitations without uh, uh, comparing with the cl uh, cloud, and, um, uh, the cloud version. I was talking with uh, some people from, the cl from Cloudant, and there's Cloudant local. I can, you can put it on your uh, own, own uh, servers and uh, you have your own URL and I, I already made in my connector uh, um, in initialize method to, to initialize the connector for local there's an advanced there's some more um, um, ways to to, st to to initialize the connector for uh, behind an SSL um, 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 you uh, you with SSL Okay, the proxy uh, local is already um, provided, and in cloud, yeah, in the cloud, the, 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 the preferred way from cloud. But there is a cloud local, so if you want to run it locally, be my guest. Is that the answer? Is that your answer? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's the way. Without fuss, we can connect our application to another um, data store. Maybe SQL, it's also possible. Some queries, uh, and you can store it in DB2 or whatever ancient. Uh, uh, DB2 is ancient, isn't it? <laughs> it's, it's stable, it's, it's stable, but it's ancient. MySQL, it's much more. Or new SQL is there already. And another question. Yeah. No questions? That's all. I'm done. It's also.